Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I have already been to B&Q to get the new tester for the loft grey um, colour that I want to do in the bathroom. So last week I think I would have shown you that I did the tester of the cotton, which is a really, really pale grey white colour. Gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. However, there's some lights, especially orangey lights, which is to be expected. It does come across quite yellow and orangey tinged, which I don't want. Instead, I am going to go for this one. Also, I don't want the bathroom to come across too like white. It will look like a big kind of like white grey box, which I don't really want. I want it to feel like really welcoming and really like come into the bathroom, come and, you know, have a good time or whatever. That sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But, <laughs> but how are you guys? How is everyone? Today is Wednesday, Thursday. So it's really not the beginning of the week for me. However, I have been really, really good. So I showed you all of my plans um, in my my notepad last week and if I if you didn't see them in the last vlog you can go and have a look and I was talking through the bathroom bathroom makeover this is the color loft gray this was the one that I showed last week the cotton you can see it's quite like it's really I don't know it just looks a bit cold at the back of this book I've started to take pictures out of magazines and like articles and stuff of things that I find really like not inspirational as such but I've, I've labeled it as inspiration but more so just like in the future if I'm thinking of like doing a makeover I don't know like at my mum and dad's house or my friend's house or even here then um if I'm looking for inspiration I'm just going to stick things in the back that I really like the look of so these kind of like open shelf situation this shaker style kitchen which has been painted in loft grey which I love the colour of that and then like this sort of design kitchen. I don't know, I'm just gonna basically pour all of my inspiration into this little book and I'm hoping by um, in a couple of months it'll be full of things that I can just constantly go to and look for for inspiration. Anyway, let's go to the bathroom because I want to show you this on the wall. Ignore the bathroom right now because it's just not, it's just not. That's the only word for it, it's just not. So here's one more look at Loft Grey. So it's this colour compared to the cotton satin. You can even tell already that the cotton satin is coming off a little bit more yellow toned and then the loft grey. So the only thing that I'm thinking, I hope that it doesn't end up being just a really similar colour to what's already on the tiles, but I think it'll be a lot, lot lighter. So I've already done a test patch, ignore the state of that glass as well. I've already done a test patch here of the cotton satin. So I'm gonna do a little test patch. Oh, that looks a lot more cool grey than than I thought it would do. My application process for this last time was just some tissue. <laughs> so am I gonna do that again or am I gonna do it properly? No, I'm just gonna do it again. Yeah, I think this is it. I can already tell this is what I want. This is what I want. However, it is a lot cooler of a tone than it looked. It is quite cool. I don't know if, I don't know, I don't know. It is quite cool. It is coming across quite cool. However, it is sat on top of existing very cool tone grey tiles and a white bathroom, which is probably the reason why. So I'm thinking, I really, really like that colour. I do really like that colour and I think I prefer it to any of the options that the Ron Seal tile paint had. Okay, so clearly it's already drying, but can you see compared to this one, this one is just far too pale for me. I think I much prefer the bottom one. And I just love the color. I really love that color. Like when I buy anything that's like pottery, ceramics, vases, any decor, I always love this kind of like, I wouldn't call it a plaster. I'd call it like a clay. It's like a clay gray.
Hello. <laughs> Well, I'm afraid that we cut out a little bit during that, guys. I was in the zone. I was so in the zone when I was filming that that I just, I saw the camera die and I was like, nah, it's fine, because I wasn't doing like a proper tutorial. Um, but if it's out by now, I will show the reel that I created. But anyway, you're gonna get a proper close-up sneak peek of everything right here, right now. Look at all my gorgeous vases. Please don't come for me and say that I've taken the character out of everything. First of all, this is for a campaign, so I have been asked by Valspar to do some sort of like upcycling to some ceramics, glass, metal decor that I've got. Secondly, I've had some of these pieces for over a year and I haven't been using them. So if I can upcycle something to fit in with my decor a little bit, or I'm gonna gift a couple of pieces to friends and family as well. And I know everyone is very much on a neutral vibe at the minute. So I'm sure people will appreciate these colors. I absolutely love, love, love how these have come out. So um, some of the colors are pretty like standard. Well, they all kind of are. Are. they're not nothing like crazy but here we've got sculpting clay this one's still drying I've literally ah oh, I've got a hair on it I use some cheap brushes which isn't a very good idea oh this could go so so badly oh no it's left a big ding oh, you can't really see it it's fine but these pieces here and this one is sculpting clay which is a gray color everything is by Valspar these are Valspar's own colors Valspar also match colors to whatever you want so like if I brought this cloth in they'd match it to this this is cocoa berry I'm obsessed with this color I cannot lie when I first opened it I was like oh my god it's like it is kind of like a purple but it's more of a it's exactly what the name is like a cocoa berry so it's got that purple tinge like a blush pink almost but like a really deep one like a brown sort of color and I would be very, very happy to have this in a room in my house. Like I think paneling in this color would be gorgeous. So I did that and I did this little cutie in here. So those two are cocoa berry. And then these ones, um, at first, before they were drying, they looked quite similar to, I'm gonna flip this around because you're not getting to see them properly. These are sculpting clay gray, cocoa berry, cocoa berry. These ones at the front, at first when I painted them, because I did them directly after cocoa berry, I was like, oh no, I've picked really similar colors. But since drying out, cocoa berry is, so much like a deeper color and these are really gorgeous i would actually call them like you could get away with calling this a, a blush pink again but they are they are kind of a nude color but they've got a pinky undertone i think these are gentle fawn and then on this side probably my favorites because i'm so boring this is a color called oyster shawl um which is just a classic gorgeous gorgeous off-white creamy color not even cream because it's not very yellow it's very very cool and um, this is the sort oh no I just oh no I haven't even dinged it that's how good that is and um, this is probably a very close color to a lot of the pharaoh and ball colors that people really like to decorate in their homes so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative perhaps go to Valspar and look at oyster shawl or all of the colors that surround surround it tomorrow what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna paint the second coats obviously but i'm gonna try and do some like cool funky things so i'm gonna tape around the kind of center part of both of them and then the top half i'm gonna leave the gentle fawn then the top half i might do in like sculpting gray looks good even oyster shawl looks good but just to switch it up a little bit these are the colors these are the cards that i picked up so they're sculpting clay. I think that's very true. Oyster shawl on the card is much darker than in person. Cocoa ber berry, again, very true to the tone, but it's darker. In person, I think cocoa berry comes off a little bit lighter. And then we also went for gentle form, which I think is quite true. I'm so glad that's done. I've been meaning to paint those for ages and now that's done and i'm gonna edit the first half of it because it's for an instagram reel and to be honest all i need to do tomorrow is i'm not filming me painting the second coat because that's a bit boring i'm just gonna film the reveal so i'm gonna edit all of that tonight so that hopefully it will be on the gram in i don't know how the whenever the last bar want me to put it up by the way Actually, I'm gonna take you downstairs for this next bit. Got my hands on this. So last week on my Instagram, I was like, can someone tell me where to get the mini eggs chocolate bar? I can't find it anywhere. Like we kept going to Asda and it wasn't there when we were doing our weekly shop. And Rob's mum had given me a bar of this like a couple of months ago. And I was so, I loved it so, so much. So when I couldn't find it, I was like, no, no, this isn't on. So I asked everyone and they said, um, you can get it from a variety of places. But today I saw it in three different shops. But basically when I went to Wilco, I managed to pick some up 
which was, um, and it was one pound. So I've got that just as a little snack on the side, you know? But anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you. To be honest, I'm rumbling right now. What I'm gonna do is start to cook dinner. Uh, we're having chicken wings and rice, and then I might make the cheesecake. I'm not gonna do it on camera though too much pressure no I'm joking it just takes too long like I did it on camera last week and when I was editing the footage I was like this is so boring like no one's gonna care so I cut it all out um, and I just showed the final product so that's what I'll do I'll cut all of the boring stuff out and I'll show you the gorgeous final product when it's done hey guys it's um Sunday and I know it's in the freezer but basically <laughs> so much better I have made a come on focus imagine it all just dropped out <laughs> I've made a milky bar cheesecake oh my god it smells so good but basically I made it last night and I followed Jane's patisseries what's it called it, ingredients recipe and I don't know what went wrong but it just it looked amazing when I took it out of the fridge but when I was wobbling it it was just wobbling and wobbling and wobbling but basically this morning I had to take all of the filling off the top really carefully add the juice of one lemon and then mix it all back together and I mean it's it looks like it's set 100% it doesn't look as glossed and shiny as it looked yesterday it's like normally a cheesecake is meant to have a really like shiny surface basically I'm gonna cut into this and drop some off at me and Rob are going for a walk along the seafront and we're going to drop some cake off at Rob's mum and dad's doorstep for them because I don't want to have to eat all that I mean I do but I don't <laughs> but yeah we're going for a walk today um and I'm not really getting up to anything else do you know what I've I really need to this week just wake up tomorrow tomorrow being monday and just kick start the day at nine o'clock and just start diy and i've got so many ideas in my head for the main bathroom every time i'm in the shower i'm like looking around and i'm like what can i do what can i do um and i think i think i've got it now i think i'm going to paint the bathroom tiles in that loft gray color i'm going to paint the walls in um a color called i think it's called egyptian cotton am i getting that right i think the color that i'm thinking of is called egyptian cotton by dulux i'm going to get some scaffolding shelves well some scaffolding um to make some shelves for where my towel rack currently is i'm just gonna have some storage up there for like makeup -y bits i have contacted a mirror supplier because for the wall next to the toilet i want it just put a huge 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 like custom piece mirror to just fill that whole wall pretty much like half up because there's nothing else that can go there i can't use it for storage or anything like that because it's just unsanitary to do so my, my bathroom's small regardless so you know it's not really gonna make that much of a difference but me knowing that i've put shelves or something above there like it's not gonna like bode well with me is that the right saying bode well so i'm gonna get a, a custom piece of mirror to go on there and then i think on the walls where you open the, the door onto the wall straight in front of you directly i'm going to just put some nice prints or something and then on the wall to your left as you move in where the radiator is i'm going to build a custom radiator cover slash cabinet and it's going to be in the form of like you know like a, a like a larder style spice rack with the the strip of wood across it so it holds all my products in and i'm just going to make sure that it's wide enough to fit like certain i don't know like it's not gonna have like shampoos and conditioners but it's gonna have just like nice bits on display and then i'm gonna do some under storage sink drawers as well um which i have started to design i've started to draw them out and watched a few videos on how to do that so i think tomorrow i really need to just kick start doing it i need to either just go and get the paint sand down the tiles and whack it on the tiles or I need to, I don't know I need to do something though I need to like start this whole process so maybe I will do that but anyway um that is what I'm going to try and do tomorrow so we'll see if I end up doing that but for now I'm going to go for a walk I might try and film if I remember slash if my video um lasts that long my phone battery is about to die but it is the nicest setting on the seafront it's just like it's a really nice day as well although it has just snowed slashed it's really icy so it might be freezing um, but I would try and take a nice cute video of you so that you can relax. So um, this bit here as a half down to the bottom? No just like so, I don't know so what you're in line with this? 
That would be good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, out the way, sorry. Very cool, kid. Right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, six, all. Oh. That's it. Oh my gosh! You're not going to so make a feature. You're not going to make a feature film. <laughs> <I know. laughs> About one minute. Right. Finish, so, six mil mirror. Yeah. Polished all round. Is that what you suggest? Because I don't know anything. Right. You know when you put the mirror up, is it going to have any sort of like trim or anything? Mm -hmm. No. So it would just be. So I'm for now just going to paint the rest of the wall, yes. so that will look fine. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm so annoyed at myself. I've not been filming that whole time. <laughs> I've been talking and I wasn't filming. Charlie, camera skills 101, press record. <laughs> Gosh. What I was saying was I'm really bad at filming outros slash wrapping up vlogs in general. Um, I also look like I've been crying. I haven't. I just put an eye drop in my eye because my eyes are dry and I'm trying to take care of my eyes by like using water eye drops. Water drops? Eye drops. So to signal that. I thought I'd end off on the mirror glass processing stuff. So you will have just seen that the guys from mirror glass processing came. They were in and out in three minutes. Honestly, they are efficient. They were literally in, boom, 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 boom. They made a joke when they were when um, they finished measuring up because I was like oh can I record this for my YouTube thinking it'd be some really good footage for you guys they were like yeah cool they measured and, and then they were finished they were like that's it and I was like oh is that it he's like yeah you're not going to get a feature length film with that <laughs> so we were just laughing but um they were really helpful they helped me understand what sort of mirror I needed what sort of size and gave me just a few pointers they said um it's probably best off if you tile first before you put your mirror up but I know I'm not going to do that and I just said, well, is it okay in the future if I just cut down my tiles? And he was like, yeah, it's cool. It just makes more sense sometimes to tile and then we fit the mirror into the gap that you want. So um, we're not doing that just yet. So I was like, it's cool, just get the mirror and then I'll just tile around the mirror. It should be absolutely fine. Cause I know exactly, it's kind of still wanting to go there sort of thing. So I'm really excited because they said that from them leaving and having got their measurements up until hopefully an installation of it it's going to be a really quick turnaround like it will be about a week and they were here on tuesday did they come i think they came on tuesday because today's thursday yeah i think they came tuesday so it's only been two days so hopefully by like next week or so I should, um, by the end of the week probably, I should have a whole mirror fitted in the bathroom, which is amazing, which then means I can go on to actually start cracking on with the bathroom. I've decided I'm gonna change up the plan with the bathroom a little bit. So you know how much I've been faffing on with those tile sample paints. I think I'm probably not gonna paint anymore. I think I was under the illusion that the dark tiles were just too intense and they weren't gonna look good regardless of what I put up. But having just sat there and just kind of like envisaged stuff properly, I feel like the tiles are actually a really gorgeous color and I have a lot of black throughout the house. So instead of me changing the tiles just yet, what I'm gonna try to do is see if I can keep the tiles as they are, change up the rest of the bathroom as you'd expect me to do. Um, but just with those really nice touches like the huge mirror that we're going to have in place, I'm going to be building some new cabinetry and stuff. I think small changes like that will really help me to fall in love with the tiles a little bit more. Because the reason we chose them was because they looked really nice in the show home when we went and saw the show home when we first bought the house a couple of years ago. And I think they just need a little bit of like thinking of how to make them work. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do the bathroom makeover and I'm going to just leave the tiles for now and I'm going to do the rest of it and see if I can make it work and see if I can incorporate the other little bits to make it look good. If at the end of it I just think no it was all a huge mistake I don't like the tiles I should have painted them then like there's no harm I can still paint them there's no harm in me doing the painting afterwards as opposed to at the beginning I don't think it really makes a difference so I'm going to do that. And I think that's a good shout rather than me having to go through all the pain and effort of sanding down tiles, painting them like three, four coats, letting them dry for like a week, two weeks properly so that they properly set and then um, doing the rest of the bathroom because the rest of the bathroom is going to be a bit of a faff on as it is because I'm building a lot of stuff myself. I think, yeah, I'm going to just leave the tiles for now, do the rest of the bathroom, see if we can make it work. And I think we can. I'm really, really hopeful that we can. I really do think we can. So I'm quite excited now. I am really quite excited. 
excited. So yeah, um, scrap everything you saw at the beginning of the video for now. Probably aren't gonna be painting the tiles, but there we go. I thought I'd just give you a little update. Um, I'm just in the middle of editing this vlog, so hopefully I can get it out tonight. I've been rubbish, rubbish, rubbish at vlogging. However, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that something very, very big happened in the last couple of days, um, a very big life event. So I will be updating you guys here on YouTube very shortly. I'm gonna probably sit down and edit that video after. Um, but yeah, if you don't already know and you really wanna know, then go over to my Instagram and have a look there um but yeah that's that i just thought i'd um say bye because i'm really bad at filming outros <laughs> and um i've got my mojo back guys i'm so happy i've got my mojo back i've got my brand new mac it's come i'm so happy i had my mac before and it was a really slow one i think i explained this in the next vlog that's gonna come out. But I've got my new one and it is mwah, bellissimo and it's just made me so, so excited to throw myself, absolutely throw myself into content. I've been filming all day. I've already started ep um, editing. I've literally had the Mac for about two hours since it um, set everything up. So really, really excited to get some good content to you. And I've got a really exciting room makeover coming soon. Um, I went to the house today to go and have a look at the room. It's gonna be like a full rent no demo of a room so I'm gonna be ripping stuff out I'm gonna be like oh there's there's a lot a lot of quality stuff that we're gonna be doing there very 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 like over the moon excited for that so anyway you know me I'm rambling already I'm just so happy to be back with you guys and back filming I've missed you guys I know YouTubers say that all the time and I'm always like how can you miss people you don't know? Like, how can you miss people that you don't even know who follow you? Like, you don't know who each individual is that follows you. And I don't know, like, I just miss your kind comments and like everything. Like, anyway, I'm gonna stop being soppy because there's just no need. I just need to wrap this up to honest. That's all I need to do, shall I? <laughs> so that's that. I'm sorry, I'm talking a million miles an hour. That's that. We've got lots of new content. I'm very excited. Very, very excited. I've got my mojo back and that is all that counts. Anyway, guys, I am gonna love you and leave you edit this video so that you can watch it sometime soon and i will see you in the next one very exciting stuff anyway um have a good evening and i will speak to you all soon bye Mwah.